Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Sam. This is a reading today for Sagittarius. There are no dates on my readings. I just trust that when the message finds you, if it resonates with you, then it's your message at that time. Oh, Sagittarius. Okay, I've done your reading with my combined decks. You're going to see a blend of the two in your spread today um, as well. I'm having a super chill day, right? I was not planning on doing a reading today. But, you know, your cards were calling me. Their message was calling me. I could feel there's a message wanting to come. So I got the cards out and I thought, okay, if something jumps out really easily and quickly, I'll record a video. And it was, it's so clear that this message needs to come out today for somebody. Um, so I'm just pretending like I don't have pajama bottoms on. I threw on this uh, sparkly top to make myself look more rock star. But... Really, I am just lounging and laid back today. So, Sagittarius, somebody needs to hear this message. The reason why I believe that, I mean, look at these first two cards that popped out immediately. The second these flew out, I was like, all right, we're on the magician and the moon. I mean, we're on the Pisces full moon, right? Today, yesterday, today, the Pisces full moon. With the magician card, we're talking about manifestation coming in, right? It seems really important I mean, uh, when the when I see the moon card, up until this very moment, I've never associated it with specifically the moon cycle that's currently happening. But this message really wanting to happen today, and then this being the first two cards out, it's very clearly connected to the moon, the moon energy bringing, bringing something to manifestation for you. I mean, it is the harvest moon, right? So, and what I was noticing today with this magician is this sun on the hood of his cloak here, which I've never really paid much attention to before. So there was something coming through. I'm just, I'm so excited. I don't know why I'm so jazzed for you about this message. I'm super chill, but this, this reading is just making me, so I'm trying to calm down because because I'm having a chill day, Sagittarius. This is your energy. You're super excited about something. Clearly some big manifestation. So the sun, there's something here about the sun reflecting off this, this face of the full moon. It's like the moon needed to be at its maximum in order to reflect the energy back on, of this magician. This, So it's like you know, I guess in a sense, you are the magician. You're the one creating, manifesting something in your life. And it's like something just about the timing of it kind of crescendoing. It had to reach some crescendo point before it could be reflected back to you. It, so it had something to bounce off of. It had a surface to bounce off of. You know, I'm thinking kind of a, like a beam of light shining out through to the far reaches of the universe. And, you know, it'll just keep going and going and going infinitely unless or until it, it has an object to bounce off of. Right. And, the, and that's almost. That's the creation point, right? That's when the wave collapses into a specific event, the wave of potentiality, the light beam into infinity collapses into an event when it bounces off something it's something like that Sagittarius anyway a great big fancy way of saying the full moon seems to be bringing in a really big manifestation for you right and with the bee spirit and the starfish spirit coming out next some of my absolutely favorite cards what this is talking to me about, the B spirit, well, it says sweet results await, right? So this is definitely a, um, a completion, a crescendo, uh, you know, it's the manifestation point, right? That's the results, sweet results. So this B energy, though, especially combined with this star, is, it's really got this kind of, You've sent a signal way out somewhere and it's now beaming back to you because the B, I always say, is multidimensional or trans-dimensional. It crosses through dimensions. And so coming in with the starfish, it's very just out there, multidimensional, multiverse type energy. Um, and the starfish is coming in like a shooting star. Like I said, there's this real thing about it, like sending an intention sending out the um 
you know, I'm thinking of the bee gathering the, the pollen from the flowers, carrying the, the seeds way out across the universe. And now it's, it's ricocheted back and is about to land the shooting star at your feet. That's how it's feeling to me. Um, but what's interesting here, Sagittarius, is this combination of cards next. This eagle spirit and the three of fire. Spirit has your back. This eagle... This eagle seems to be what is swooping in, right? This very high dimensional, high vibrational um, crescendo. It's like the maximum potential swooping in on you. This is you, this three of fire. And you're, you almost are coming across as unexpected. I can't possibly say that you didn't see it coming because you're the one who set this into motion or at least set and then maybe you set this intention out with this magician energy quite a long time ago and almost forgot about it. You know, every once in a while we stumble into something that is so perfect for us. It's like it's it's um, designed specifically for us. And it's not until later that we look at it and realize, oh yeah, I I asked for this forever ago. I'm thinking of um, Practical Magic. I love that movie. In the beginning when there's still little girls, she's writing in her diary or something, creating her ideal partner, her ideal future husband. And she's putting all these, you know, the two different colored eyes. And there's a star in that too, right? Because he's got the star on his... He's the sheriff or whatever. So it's something like that. It's almost like something that you set in motion in your childhood. You may have almost forgotten about it because like I said here, it's like you've, you almost forgot you, you asked for it or you didn't see it coming, right? Because it, and it's swooping in on you. Absolutely. This three of fire is kind of talking to me about like, you're kind of happily on your way to something already. Like you're focused on something you're in, you know, the very early stages, the three of some unfolding already in your life. So it's almost like you're kind of just caught up in whatever new-ish thing that you've got going on anyway. And so it's like, like I said, it's almost like you've forgotten about this, but here it comes sweeping in. So you're on this trajectory here and this eagle is like sweeping in and going to lift you up into a, an absolutely different direction right so you're at you're definitely changing course is what it seems like with the squirrel spirit coming out next it's starting to kind of feel a little bit like work related because the squirrel is you know collecting the nuts but there's all this stuff coming in about practical magic and and you know it doesn't, it doesn't have to be I mean, it could be, it could be a spectrum of things for, for all the Sagittarius out there, Sagittarians out there. It could be love for some work for another, but whatever it is, it's like, you've just been, like I said, you're kind of diligently working away at something else. You're, you're gathering the nuts. You're in a process. You're engaged in a process that's, that's got you focused there, but and then you're, you're being surrounded by all of this the eagle and the hawk, right? Swooping in. So it's also got a little bit of this feeling of, well, that you didn't see it coming, absolutely, but also that it seems to be um, a big jump from where you are, you know? You're this, you're this squirrel working diligently in the physical realm if this is work related, it's like you're kind of still at the beginning stages, at the early stages of your career progression. You know, you may have just been hired recently. This could be, all, you know, kind of a new-ish job that you have landed and you're just happily working away at that, right? But then this is coming in. It's almost like you're going to receive a major promotion that... You didn't see coming because you kind of just got there, right? It's that kind of an energy. But these, you know, these these um, bird spirits are are absolutely coming in and swooping 
lifting you up. So there's definitely a, a being lifted up, a being upgraded, elevated, promoted kind of energy coming in here. You know, and then with this page of earth, beautifully coming out next to this elephant card. Talk about promotion, right? The page, like I said, you, and because it's pentacles, because it's earth, you know, you're at this early manifestation or like you're, you're already in a new ish manifestation. That's how it's feeling with the squirrel and this page of earth. You're working away already in a new ish manifestation that you're quite content in. But then this elephant, well, the, both of these are you actually, it's like this, this hawk spirit, somebody has, has, been witnessing, watching you in this page energy, seeing, but looking at you here, but seeing this, you see what I'm saying? They're already seeing your fullest potential. So even though you've just arrived and you might not even see this fuller expression of yourself, they can see it because they've got the, they've got the eye for it, right? This is how it's coming in. And, the, you know, both of these are about remembrance. I often talk about this page of earth as being, um, well, it's interesting, Sagittarius. Usually it's called the he remembers card. That's what I call it. Because I say that he's like a child where, you know, dressed up and playing in the yard, playing make-believe. But in his mind, in his reality, he's not playing. He really is all of these things, right? He just, he remembers. He remembers who he really is. So he's not pretending to be a wizard or an angel or a shaman. He really is those things, right? But nobody takes it seriously because he shouldn't really know what he's doing at that stage of the game, right? So that's kind of where you are. But what's interesting is I think that you're the one that, I mean, not that you think that you're playing, that you have yet to realize that you really are a big deal. It's like, cause like I said, you just arrived there and you're happily working away. And it's like, you don't see that you're destined to be the CEO or you're destined to be at the top of the, of the pile of competition, whatever it is. Right. But this other, this one that's sweeping in absolutely sees it. And it's almost like they're going to fast track you is how it feels. It's like you're going from page to, you know, if this, this would be like a king or something, right? The elephant, just because of the enormity of it, right? The, the, the upscaling of it. So it's like, you're not fully maybe remembering who you are in this role, that this role is absolutely destined for you. But because you you are clearly um, you know quite content there, happily working away, clearly it suits you. But it's like maybe you just haven't seen the bigger picture yet, or you know it's still so new in your experience that you haven't just haven't looked that far. Because it's like you, like I said, you just got in the door. You're just settling in. You're kind of just setting up your cubicle. And you're not expecting this already. It's like you haven't even had time to settle in. Of course, you're not thinking about the promotion yet, right? Or taking over the company yet. So, and then this Ace of Earth out next. Again, another early pentacle energy, a new pentacle energy. This is coming through today as you, Sagittarius, pretty much saying, me? Are you talking to me? You're, you're bringing this to me. It's that kind of energy. You're just, you're, you're looking at them going, it's almost like, especially with this big boulder right in the front here. It's like, like I said, you're just diligent, diligently working away quite contentedly. And it's, it's got this energy of not only like me, you're talking to me, but I thought I just had a lot more work to do still, right? With all of this down here. It's like you you thought that there was quite a bit more work to do, more climbing of the ladder before you got to this phase. So it's just coming as a surprise, an early promotion, it feels like. But in a sense, going back to the practical magic type thing, storyline, 
it's like this has been set into motion. You set this into motion so long ago that even though you've just arrived on the scene, really energetically, you know, in your intentions, in your development, in your your innate gifts, it's like it's already there. It's not the beginning of the process. It feels like that to you because you've just arrived at the scene. But really, you know, this has been, especially with the Ace of Earth, it's like this is this has been destined all along. This is why you came here. The Ace of Earth it always talks to me about the purpose of coming into Earth because the Ace is a coming, an arriving energy. The reason you came to into this life is very much intertwined with whatever is going on right now, right? So the Ace of Earth and then the Badger Spirit, both of them are startled at, really, you're choosing me? <laughs> because the Badger comes across to me um, feeling a little bit silly. Like the Badger is supposed to be this big, bold, you know, stands up to any challenge, takes on any challenge, but this is almost like you, it's be, it's just being put on you. It's just, this looks to me like a, a portrait studio where, you know, somebody is dressing you up in some fancy garb and saying, okay, there you are. And you're going, okay, I'll do it. But I feel kind of silly. I feel like an imposter, right? Because it's like you think that it's too soon. So you're feeling a little bit unprepared or maybe a little bit juvenile with this energy here. Like I said, it just comes through as really silly. This is supposed to be an energy of bold fearlessness, but it just looks silly to me. So it's like you're being pushed into or being given an opportunity that's going to require you to really step into it in a really bold way, especially if this is like an early promotion where there's going to be other people seeing what's happening with you. And you're kind of just tiptoeing along like, well, I didn't choose this. They just gave it to me. They put me here, right? It's that kind of an energy. Feeling like a lot of eyes are on you and you're feeling just silly about the position that you've been put in, right? And a lot of this energy of like, are you really talking to me? <laughs> so, and then we end here, Sagittarius, with the white raven spirit, gorgeous, because it says, trust the magic. Trust the magic, just like I was saying that this is this is part of the plan. The White Raven talks to me about prophecy. So this is like something that was in a sense written in the stars. Like I said, it's like it's like it's been traveling through space time, waiting for the perfect moment to bounce back and, and manifest. If that makes sense. It's like because the moon brings into, you know, the cycles and the calendar and time, like being within time, like the starfish and the and the bee spirit are both beyond time. In my mind, they're both multidimensional cosmic level energies that are outside of time. But it's like the, it, it's now entering into the 3D time loop in a sense, if you see what I'm saying. So it's like it. it it has been on its way for a really long time. That's what this prophecy card is about. It's like you may have gotten a glimpse of it as a child or years ago you thought if I could only, what I would really love to be doing is, so it's like you did, you have had a glimmer of it in your past if you look back or you may very, very clearly know this when it comes in and you're going, really? It's here now? I thought there was more work to do. I thought more time had to pass. But just like I wasn't going to do this reading today, it's like it's the time. Today is the full moon. It's time. This reading needed to get out today. So it's like Sagittarius couldn't even go the whole weekend without hearing this message because it's here now. The magic has arrived, right? Sagittarius? So... I'm going to continue to pull cards, see what else we can find out about this amazingness. And uh, if you're interested in the extended, the link is in the description box. If not, I will see you next time. Sagittarius. Thanks. Bye.